Welcome, I'm Dakota Taylor and this is a KDEX TV News Update. The spring semester has finally begun at Richland and so have classes in the new Premier Science Building. The building is a LEED Platinum Certified Building, which means it pushes the boundaries in green development and sustainability. Richland students had more to say about the new building and the start of the new semester. My first day back, actually, I got lost and confused, believe it or not. After four years, I got lost on my first day. <laughs> I love it. It's comfortable, it's close, and I feel it. No, I mean, I like it out here. And uh, you know, how do you like the campus as far as it looks? And I like the campus. Faculty. It's nice. It's, faculty is nice, too. Uh, mm -hmm. They helped me get a job for it. I got a job for it, so I'm working. It's a beautiful campus. I've been, to, I've been to a lot of other Dallas District community colleges, Brookhaven and Centro and all those. And this is by far the best one. You got a river. You got good people. You got a new science building. The race for a new senator in Massachusetts has come to a climactic end. In a political upset like no other, Republican Scott Brown toppled the Democratic hold on the Senate seat once held by Senator Ted Kennedy. With Brown now fully supporting the Republican push against the health care reform, the political party may be able to roadblock the new bill championed by President Barack Obama. In a shocking moment of deja vu for the people of Haiti, the small country was struck by a 6.1 earthquake on Wednesday, January 20th at 6.03 a.m. The quake was centered about 35 miles west of Port-au-Prince. This aftershock has been the largest of 40 since the original earthquake. The January 12 earthquake has left an estimated 1.5 million homeless. There have been no estimates on the structural damage or the loss of life since the second quake. Check us out at youtube.com slash kdextv for more news updates. And if you'd like to contact us with your news tips, email us at kdextv at gmail.com. This has been a KDXTV News Update, keeping you informed.